What's up, guys? Anthony here with Special Analysis. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to talk you through how I talked my clients through uh, trading here light sweet crude oil. I want to discuss what it looked like, what transpired, uh, the comments I made during this. So earlier in the session here, we had a breakdown from the opening range. However, my I voiced my concern that we were breaking right into a daily pivot. And a pivot is defined by an area where price has previously turned around from. So normally a break of a pivot is not always reliable, uh, but it can be an area where indecision occurs that later decision can follow through. So ultimately what happened was we pushed back into the opening range, respected the 8 and 13 EMA, closed back below it here. And then from that point moving forward, the daily pivot had become a form now of resistance. So a little bit of caution heated here because we were approaching the weekly inventory report at 1030. And you could see that we got some high volume that came into play during that time period. So letting that transpire, letting the price action come back up to a high area in between the 8 and 13 EMA, you can see we respected the 13 as resistance. We're basically using the eight as support. And then we broke below right there. So this little area here, we closed below it. And this was the signal, the signal to say, hey, listen, we're likely to at the very least retest these prior lows and then potentially onward from there. So what happened was price did push into those prior lows, even slightly through it, did pull back, retested the 21, 13 and eight EMA only to again close below here, go onward towards our next pivot, below that to our higher time frame channel structure, ultimately resulting in a 2.6 risk reward ratio with 109 ticks of opportunity. Now, again, I would have likely considered taking some profit here at that first uh, approach to that pivot, which would have yielded you about 74 ticks of profit. Uh, and then I would have sold another component of my trade down here at the channel line where you could see we've gotten some reversal off of. So guys, it's really, really simple. As long as your risk significantly outweighs your reward, um, at least at your very first target, and you have a clear definable break, you have all the supporting uh, odds enhancers that you use. We use a modified MACD. We use uh, standard fixed VWAP or rolling VWAP, 15 minute 21 EMA, 15 minute 8 EMA, and then a 21, 13, and 8 EMA on our time frame, which is three minutes. Again, we let that news release transpire. We don't trade the news. Waited for a little consolidation, which happened right here. One, two, three, four bars. Uh, filed a, a, you know, fulfilled a little bit of support there, broke below it. And this was the signal here. You know, did it fall right off the cliff? No, but we impulsed, we corrected, maintained the short term trend here at the fast moving averages and ultimately rotated lower into our two targeted objectives near term. Now, again, this was all able to be seen uh, with clarity, utilizing the book map, which is something I provide during the live sessions. All of this analysis I provide during the live sessions. If you want to learn more about it, you can go to anthonyspecial.com slash trade dash live dash with dash me. If you have questions, you can email me info at specialanalysis.com. But if you're looking for somebody to interpret price action for you, if you trade crude oil, the NASDAQ, the S&P and or gold, and you want somebody to do the analysis, you want somebody to interpret the price action for you so that all you have to do is focus on actually placing and managing the trade yourself. That's what I'm here to do. And if you'd like to join me, you can join me on an annual or unlimited access basis. Uh, all that's described in great detail here at this website. And again, if you have questions, you're always welcome to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. So with that, I wish you a beautiful and blessed day. It took a little while for this to come together, but we got through that inventory release. We defined some form of support. We broke it. We checked off all our odds enhancers, and ultimately we fell in to two very predictable, very definable technical targets. Guys, if you want to trade like this, you're welcome to join me on a daily basis from 8 to 11 a.m., Monday through Friday. It would be my pleasure to have you alongside me. Thanks again. God bless.